Now, I know a lot of you guys play Mutt, and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team. So if you want to just buy some training or coins or players, head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use my code CK, and not only will you be rich one day, but you'll also get 15% off your order. Welcome back, you guys. It's your boy CK, man. This idea came from somebody in my Facebook stream. He said I should do a team of the best players in their 20s versus a team of the best players in their 30s or more. So right off the bat, you know, the 20s team, it's a little bit better. They have a 99 overall. They have 99 everywhere. We have Mahomes, Lamar, and Deshaun Watson at quarterback. We have McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry at running back. Fullback, we have Kyle Juszczyk. Wide receiver. Devonte Adams, New Hopkins, Tyreek, Stephon Diggs, and Michael Thomas. Tight end, George Kittle, Darren Waller, and Mark Andrews. O-line, we have Bakhtiari, Quentin Nelson, Ryan Jensen, Zach Martin, and Tristan Wirfs. At left end, we have Bosa and Brian Burns. If I did this two months from now, you know, the 30-year-old team would have had Aaron Donald. You hate to see it. You really do. But instead, he's on a 20s team, man. He's still only 29. And they also have Miles Garrett. Fletcher Cox's birthday is in December, so it would have been a while for him to be on the 30s team, man. You have him, Chris Jones, and DeForest Buckner. Not to mention Khalil Mack, who's also only 29. Are you sure about that? Holy crap. Okay. I actually have Khalil Mack on the 20s team in, in, in the thumbnail, you know. I looked it up, man his birthday just passed like a month ago but it was after they stopped updating the roster so he's actually 30 years old is the point i'm trying to get at okay so now we have him at 30 bro i should have checked all the people that's 29 either way we're going to trade him away to the 30s team because yeah that's where he belongs all right so the uh 20s team has tj Watt at left outside linebacker fred warner eric kendricks roquan at mlb miles jack bradley chubb a right outside linebacker gilmore hold up now i'm checking every 29 year old okay so let me check stefan gilmore make sure he's not 30 he is what the hell bro oh my why can't they update the ages at the very least this is crazy i gotta trade him to the 30s team as well so now ramsey's the new number one for the 20s team at cb you also have jair tredavious marlon humphrey and james bradbury at free safety justin simmons and jesse bates strong safety the honey badger and Buda Baker. Kicker Jason Sanders and then punter JK Scott. Now the 30s team was like a 93 before those two changes. Now they're 95. Of course Tom Brady, TB12 leading the way and then you have Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Mark Ingram and Frank Gore. Wait a minute. Let me check some 29 year olds at this point. This is getting wild, man. After what happened with Gilmore, we have to. What is Latavius Murray? He's 31. How do you have two birthdays within that span? This is unbelievable. They didn't update any ages at all. It seemed like two years difference, bro. I got to check like the 28 year olds now. Anywho, they now have an 82 leading the way at running back. Nick Ballore was the only fullback above a 30. Wide receivers, I think, were good. Julio Jones, of course. Adam Thielen, Cole Beasley, AB. And Emmanuel Sanders. Tight ends, we have Kelsey and Gronk. Also, Jared Cook. O-line, we got Trent Williams, Richie Incognito, Jason Kelsey, Brandon Brooks, and Lane Johnson. Eagles looking kind of old on the offensive line. On defense, we got J.J. Watt and Cameron Jordan at left end. Cameron Hayward and Calais Campbell at right end. Brandon Williams, Linval, and Tyson Alualu at D-tackle. Kalo Mack and Vaughn both at left outside linebacker, along with Chandler Jones, just nasty. MLB, Bobby Wagner, Levante, Demario Davis, JPP, and KJ. Of course, Stephon Gilmore, now the new number one. CHJ Sherman. Jimmy Smith, Pat Pete, Xavier Rhodes, Devin McCourty, and Rodney McLeod at free safety, and Harrison the Hitman, along with Kareem Jackson at strong safety. You also have Justin Tucker at kicker and Johnny Hecker at punter. Let me wait before we go further, man. Is Micah High 30? This man is freaking 30. I can't believe this. They don't update the ages, bro. It, it takes three seconds. I should have done my due diligence. It's on me. Let me take accountability. I can't hide from these mistakes. You feel me? You see what I did? <laughs> Let me find out big play slays 30. He is. Let's go, man. The 30s team getting just a little better. Already a 99 defense, but these last minute, uh, you know, upgrades are definitely going to help. I've never seen as many X factors on one team, man. I, I don't know. Don't sleep on this defense carrying them to a W. But hey, there's going to be two matchups in this video. I assume that, you know, both these teams are going to make it to the Super Bowl. That's why I did like that. So we're going to watch the first matchup in week one. So first up, we have Patrick Mahomes. In the 20s, bro, I'm laughing at all these stars and X-Factors on the field. It looks like a damn Pro Bowl. 
I don't believe. Look at McCaffrey making moves, bro. I can't wait to see this man healthy again. This defense uh, also has a lot of X factors and superstars. I think there's like one player on the entire defense that doesn't have one. Or at least in a starting lineup. Either way, it's going to be a third and one. Let's see if they decide to pass Mahomes in the shotgun. For now, an offensive line protects him very well. Devontae gets the first down. Get your predictions in the comment section, man. I don't want to see y'all with the edited symbol next to the comment, man. That's cheating. Stop. Give me your actual predictions now before it's too late. As for the odds, you know, I, I give the, the 20s a minus, uh, a minus three and a half. How about that? I think that, that, that sounds about right. But I wouldn't sleep on Tom Brady, bro. I might take the odds for the, the 30s and over. It just, it feels weird to bet against Tom Brady with plus three and a half odds too. I, I don't know, man. I might have to go ahead and bet on them if i was a batman but i'm not you know what i'm saying first and 10 mahomes oh my what a pass looked like he was facing the back of the end zone and he just darted it to the sideline second and five this offense is moving like a well old machine another dot just take what the defense is giving him not really going down the field but you know the d line is too scary there's just too many guys can get to the quarterback with the quickness so i see why and there's chubb getting the first down i think they have him as a higher rating than a uh, derrick henry like chubb's a monster but i don't know man someone just had a 2000 yard season I, you would think they would be like a 98 99 and right when i say that he fumbles Devonte picks it up because his awareness is so freaking high and now they're inside the five actually i'm not sure if awareness is the rating that you know is used to determine whether you pick up fumbles or not i've always thought that's what it was either way mahomes bottom of the screen he drops it it's not quite the same chemistry he has with travis kelsey we're gonna see up next mccaffrey gonna get them down to the one can these old heads bend but don't break let's see what happens third and goal the toss what a play kareem and harrison smith in the backfield they're gonna have to settle for three time to see what the 30 and up club has in store not off to the best start their run game is gonna struggle that's that's my prediction right off the bat but their passing game can definitely get them to the super bowl i think and you know their old line's nasty so who knows but obviously against a defense this amazing they're gonna struggle on the ground you know during the regular season they might do better we'll see either way third down brady gotta get rid of it top of the screen that's incomplete and they're going three and out in the first drive second and five mahomes gonna scramble this time bro he has escape bars he has everything you need oh my god what a pass on the run him and mccaffrey together is a cheat code of course he's in the zone now man i thought he was past the line of scrimmage i don't know what to make of that play it's just it's mahomes and now the little flip i think that was tyreek hill gets them inside five are you going back to him back to back little flips you never see that often but it actually works man two possession lead for the 20 year olds i'm hoping they completely abandon the run and just start passing man. you have a lot of talent may not have the most speed all right, but you still have a lot of guys that can catch the ball like Cole Beasley. One of the better slots we've seen in the last handful of years. Gets them their first first down of the game. We have some motion. A little, okay, a little handoff right there. Kelsey getting no yards. Them trickeration plays is not going to work against a team of young bucks. They're just a lot faster than you guys, okay? You're going to have to do something else. Throw down the field. There you go. Okay, that, that, that works, I guess. Kelsey, yes, sir. Use that muscle. You know, once he gets the ball in his hands, it, it's going to be tough to bring him down. Anyway, third and five. Brady. Throwing a dart, let's go. Thielen getting them across midfield. Can you believe Thielen is, is, is over 30? I thought he was like in his late 20s at, at worst. Either way, first and 10. Good protection. Okay, I jinxed it. At least he didn't fumble. That's not good. Aaron Donald's in the zone. That's a little scary, man. I was rooting for this uh, 30 year and over club to, to at least get in field goal range. But now it's not looking too hot. Kelsey is his best target right now. They're across midfield again. And now Brady's in the zone. He has Omaha, I think. <laughs> and that's the best X factor, in my opinion. But of course, they freaking have a false start and now they're back five yards again and you're supposed to be the veterans yo the, the linemen are supposed to have better awareness as you get older right like i don't know man either way third and 17 nah that's not gonna get it done just not gonna get it done not the best drive penalties and just sacks screwed them over focus kicker yes sir you're not blocking that look at that punt that's a punt dot let's go johnny hecker built different even over holes in the zone man it's risky Von Miller, you got Kalo Mack. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be very careful. Good tackle by the D tackle. They got a few yards right there. A little breathing room. So that might be enough to, you know, get them out of uh, harm's way. Here's going to be a second down and seven. Another handoff. Got to get three and out right here if you're the 30 and over team. So that bazooka is activated, you know, but I don't think you have to worry about him throwing deep. I don't think you have to worry about that, man. I would have worried about the short passes like that. This entire offense hasn't skipped a beat. But remember, regular season is, is not the playoffs.
playoffs. Remember, Tom Brady lost twice to the Saints in the regular season, I believe. And then he beat them in the playoffs. I'm just saying. That's why I wanted to do this matchup and then, you know, put them in different conferences. So if they do meet up again, we get to see what happens in the second matchup. It's going to be a third and five. McCaffrey's going out of the backfield. One on one with a cornerback. I still like that matchup. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's almost picked off. They're going to have to punt. So, you know, three timeouts, maybe like 35 seconds left. The 30s team could definitely make something happen. Please don't run the ball. Please, if you run the ball, man, I'm, I'm going to be heated. There's way too much time. There you go. Wow. Play action. Oh, shit. What is that? Once again, the 20s team just cooking. Oh, McCaffrey won too many jukes. Harrison the hitman forcing the fumble. Still only down 10-0, man. There's plenty of time. Brady and comebacks just go together like peanut butter and jelly. But he does need a little bit of help, man. He can't do it alone. Y'all got to start catching these passes. He's going to drop back again. Three steps. There you go. Get the ball to some of your playmakers. Gronk getting him three yards. It's going to be a third seven. This is crucial. Got to keep the drive going. Got to get points off this turnover. And they're not going to, man. It's fourth and short. Let's see if they go for it. Nah, I guess it's just too far in their own territory. Damn it. This man goaded at punting. What the fuck is going on? Third and three. Oh, wow. What a sack right there. Chris Harris Jr. Oh, God. It's in the house. Oh, and no one's catching the ball. I feel bad for Brady. But also give credit to the defense, man. They're swatting the balls, you know, playing great coverage. Dirty's team just can't get it going. I mean, look at that. Another drop. Fourth and two. This is play of the game. They get it. It's probably over if they don't. Look out. Let's see a handoff McCaffrey. Oh, the strip. The 30s team is making this interesting. I'm guessing they did that adjustment before that play. It's going to be a first and 10. Now let's see if they can get the offense going. Thielen getting them started with a nice eight-yard gain. Rushing game has been non-existent. Keep passing, though. Keep on passing. Three-step drop. Dropping back a little further. Thielen again. I need more sense of urgency. This is what I like to see. A five wide. Make it known that you coming out slinging a rock. Tom Brady. TB12. Let's go. Clean pocket. Another dark Cole Beasley. Getting them across midfield. Now he gets to see what the defense is doing in coverage. Man, Brady still can't get rid of it in time. Oh, my God. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Only two wide receivers. 12 personnel. Not a fan. Hopefully, he's still a pass. Though. Okay, as long as it's still a pass. Play action. Great protection. Over the middle. There's someone wide open. Adam Thielen. Getting them in field goal range, they're at least going to get three. But I'm sure he wants seven. Brady in the shotgun. Oh, there's a screen. He barely gets rid of it. It's picked off. What a play by Tredavious White. That all but seals it up for the 20s team. Take another look. Look at the diving interception. Looking like one of us using these screens out there. Zero points put up by this amazing team. I guess the defense for the 20s team was just too much to handle. We're going to revisit this matchup, hopefully in the Super Bowl, man. Let's see how the seasons pan out. As predicted, both teams destroyed the entire regular season. The Raiders didn't lose another game. Who did the Panthers lose to? The Saints. Jameis went crazy. Easy. Three touchdowns, one interception. The Saints defense kept them in check. Chubb had three touchdowns on the ground, though. Look at Kamara. Yeah, the Saints have always. Oh my, Adam Troutman. What? In the, okay, this is just this is this is a weird game. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But here's the playoff bracket. Of course, both teams had the first round bye. Cruise through both of their games in the divisional and the championship. So now let's see who's going to win the second matchup. It wasn't even close. 49 to 14. The 20s team wins both matchups. I guess they just had a little too much pep in their step for the 30s team, man. Hopefully y'all did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Destroy the like button. Also, don't forget to keep coming to the Facebook streams. And please don't give me money. I don't want your money. All I want is your ideas. That's the best place to give them to me. I read every comment over on my Facebook stream. So yeah, that'd be very, very dope of you to do that, man. In the meantime, hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.